Hello! In this lesson, we'll delve into an essential and intricate aspect of SEO. It can be challenging, but we'll strive to simplify it. Here are the things you'll discover. What is technical SEO and what are its components? What does technical site optimization involve? Why is site indexing important and how does it impact SEO? How can you conduct a website audit and effectively implement changes? Technical flaws on the site can hinder the positive impact of on-page optimization and link promotion. This lesson will guide you on prioritizing and optimizing key technical parameters while avoiding common mistakes. Let's get started! Technical optimization focuses on site code and technical parameters that are often not visible to visitors but affect loading speed, user experience and other ranking factors. What does technical SEO include? URL optimization Creating logical and user-friendly URLs Duplicate content management Avoiding duplicate or similar content and URLs to ensure proper indexing and search ranking. Server response code checking. Ensuring stable hosting performance and security. Accurate redirects. Configuring redirects carefully to prevent technical issues. Broken link elimination. Detecting and fixing broken links to enhance user experience and indexing. Indexing exclusion. Preventing search engines from indexing irrelevant technical pages. Loading speed optimization. Ensuring fast page loading and responsiveness. Multi-language setup. Implementing technical tasks for promoting the site in multiple countries. Microdata markup. Using structured data to aid search engine crawling and content discovery. It uses HTML tags to annotate specific elements such as text, images or other media with descriptive metadata. It helps search engines understand the content better and enhances the display of search results by including rich snippets. These components encompass various features that even novice SEO specialists should be aware of. Let's explore these essential aspects further. An essential component of technical SEO is accuracy of URL generation. Proper URL generation makes it easier to work with backlinks, indexing and clickability. What is the ultimate way to generate the URL on the site? Follow these basic rules. Refrain from using numbers. This makes it harder to the user to remember or type the link. An exception may be linked to product pages, as module names often include numbers. Use only Latin letters. This is important so the URL is displayed without strange characters when shared. Links should not contain .html, .htm, .php extensions. Use only a hyphen to separate words. Also, the hyphen should not be doubled. The URL must not contain special symbols. Addresses must be human readable. That means the end of the URL must be readable and contain the text of the search query. All URLs on the site should follow common logic. For example, a slash indicating the language slash ink slash and others should be either at the end or immediately after the domain. When optimizing and promoting a site, sometimes website migration becomes necessary. Website migration refers to changing the CMS platform on which the site operates. 
change in their domain, change in their hosting provider. During a website migration, it's often required to modify URL addresses and establish redirects to ensure the correct pages are accessible through the new URLs. Due to the extensive data transfer involved, technical errors frequently occur. It's important to remember that a change in URL addresses during website migration can potentially impact the site's search ranking. However, when the migration process is executed correctly, any decline in traffic should be minimal and swiftly reversible. Next up, we'll discuss the HTTP status code. It is a three-digit number that indicates the server status and the response type. We have listed only the most common. 200 is a code that indicates that the server has successfully processed the request. 300 is a code that means that the page is redirected. 400 code means a client-side error due to the which it is impossible to process the request. 500 code means errors on the server side. You can check the codes using SerpStat site audit. In the overview report, you will see the HTTP status code log. An essential component of technical SEO is the validity of HTML code. All site pages consist of text and graphic elements, and their layout is determined by markup. Markup refers to the special text that defines the structure of a web page. Valid markup ensures that the HTML code meets worldwide web consortium standards. Incorrect markup can result in the following. Poor loading speed performance. Display issues on different devices. Incorrect page rendering in various browsers. The simplest way to verify the validity of markup is by using online services. Validator services allow you to assess the HTML validity of a web page, an uploaded file or a code snippet inserted into the service. Simply provide a link code or file for testing. The tool will highlight any errors. Its main drawback is that it doesn't crawl the entire site. To continue discussing technical SEO factors, let's explore the importance of HTTP and HTTPS protocols. HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is an internet protocol that governs data transfer on the web, facilitating web page loading and user data submission. On the other hand, HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, extends HTTP with encryption, ensuring enhanced site security. Enabling a secure protocol is crucial for optimal search engine rankings. Delaying its implementation may require later site migration, potentially resulting in a disruption of traffic flow. The next important factor is duplicated pages, with completely or partially repeated content. Full page duplicates refer to pages with identical content but unique addresses. Examples of such duplicates include URLs with or without trailing slashes, HTTP and HTTPS versions of pages and addresses with or without www. Partially duplicated pages have similar content with slight difference in elements, product descriptions, filter sorting pages, print download pages. 
The duplicate risks include decreased relevance, potential ranking fluctuations, and decreased viewer engagement. Full-page duplicates can significantly harm SEO, leading to traffic loss or penalties. You can use the site Google Search Operator and the domain name in the search bar to identify duplicate pages. Duplicated meta tags and titles also should be fixed promptly. Solutions for addressing duplicate pages include removing them from the site and sitemap XML, prohibiting indexing in robots.txt, setting up 301 redirects and implementing rel canonical tags. Using a site audit tool like Serpstat can simplify the identification of duplicate pages and common errors related to duplicate content. The meta text section of the completed audit overview report will cover these insights in detail. Speaking of duplicate content in SEO, it's worth remembering such a phenomenon as website cloning or website replication. It refers to creating multiple websites with nearly identical content structure and design. Regardless of the nature of your business, protecting your website against possible cloning attacks is essential. Cloning can occur for various reasons, such as traffic theft, competitors' interference, or actions by third parties. But being proactive and safeguarding your website, you can mitigate the damaging consequences of cloning attacks. Link extensively between your articles and domains for user navigation and identifying clones through analytics. Invest in strong branding to make your website easily recognizable and distinct. What to do if you are dealing with a clone? Attempts to block its crawling and observe its refresh rate. Identify the clone's IP address and consider blocking it if necessary. Contact the clone's domain provider, host, or CDN with a takedown request including copywriting and trademark information. Vigilance and prompt action are crucial to protect your online presence against cloning incidents. We are continuing with the technical aspects of optimization. Now let's delve into the topic of redirects. A redirect leads site visitors from one URL to another, typically used to resolve issues related to duplicate pages or site changes. There are two main types of redirects. 301 redirect. This permanent redirect indicates the resource has moved to a new address. 302 redirects. This is a temporary redirect signaling to Google that the website has temporarily changed its address. In fact, Google doesn't distinguish between these two types of redirects, as Google spokesperson John Mueller confirmed. Both redirects transfer link juice and can be implemented through the HDXS file on the hosting server or via plugins in the site's administrative panel. Another important aspect of technical optimization is broken links. Broken links pose a significant problem for website SEO, leading to decreased visitor engagement and potentially impacting the overall site ranking. When a broken link is checked, it triggers a 404 error message. This occurs in the following situations. Page deletion. If the page no longer exists, missing redirects when the address has changed but no redirect has been set up. 
user error. If the user enters the page address incorrectly in the browser. Among these scenarios, only the last one is harmless to the site as it unrelated to site errors. It is essential to create a custom 404 error page. The purpose of the error page is to redirect users to the main page and prevent them from leaving the site. The design of the page can be creatively tailored to engage users. Here are some examples. To identify 404 errors pages, you can use Serpstat. Look for the 400th page code section in the report, where the first link indicates a broken one and the link below may correspond to the page it is located on. To address a 404 error, the most common approach is to set up a 301 redirect to the main page or another page with similar content. Now, let's focus on another crucial aspect of technical optimization. Large websites like online stores often have numerous technical pages that are crucial for user functionality, such as ordering products or services. However, these pages do not contribute to organic traffic. To prevent search engine resources from being wasted, it is common practice to block these pages from indexing through the use of robots.txt. Now, I will show you examples of service pages that are typically blocked from indexing, including shopping cart pages in online stores, registration pages in online services, users' personal account pages, Thank you pages after purchase. Pages with registration forms. This list is incomplete. By properly managing the indexing of technical pages and using appropriate techniques, you can optimize your website's performance and ensure search engine resources are focused on relevant and valuable content. Continuing the discussion on website optimization, when it comes to website performance, fast loading speed is a well-known requirement. It not only enhances the user experience, but also serves as an important ranking factor for Google. Google PageSpeed is commonly used for measurements. Simply enter the website URL and click the Analyze button to obtain speed test results. The tool provides valuable insights into the factors influencing loud and speed and offers recommendations to address any issues. Furthermore, the Serpstat audit report also presents data from Google Page Speed for both desktop and mobile devices. To improve loading speed, consider implementing the following techniques. Optimize images. Minimize the size of HTML code. Remove unnecessary third-party code. Evaluate and reduce server response time. Streamline the number of plugins used. While the responsibility of addressing loading speed typically falls on web developers, it is essential for SEO specialists to grasp the underlying mechanics of this process. In the next segment, we will delve into further optimization strategies to elevate your website's technical aspects. A crucial aspect to prioritize is the Mobile First Index, which grants ranking advantages to websites that possess a well-optimized mobile version or adaptive design. Therefore, when optimizing your site, it's crucial to devote careful attention to this SEO component. The tasks involved in this stage of optimization include Selecting and customizing a template for popular CMS-based sites. 
optimizing code and markup specifically for mobile compatibility, ensuring proper image optimization for mobile devices. According to the latest research, 58% of website traffic comes from mobile devices. By executing these optimization measures effectively, you can significantly enhance your website traffic and positively impact conversion rates. As we progress in our technical SEO journey, let's move on to the next topic – localization. When creating multi-language version of a site, SEO specialists and web developers face various challenges. However, we will guide you through the process step by step to ensure nothing is overlooked. Let's start with how to create a multilingual site. There are three main options. Several versions of a site on different domains. For example, mysite.ua, mysite.pl, mysite.fr. Each language version is on a separate subdomain, for example, ua.mysite.com, inc.mysite.com, etc. These categories and folders, for example, mysite.com slash inc, mysite.com slash it. The industry giants use the first and second option. For example, this is how the Decathlon sites in Germany and Poland look like. To start your localization right, follow this checklist. Determine the required language versions and create keyword lists for each using Serpstat. Translate content, meta text, and localize images on the site, ensuring the inclusion of relevant keywords for each language version. Implement URL structures and enable smooth switching between language versions. Add the translated content to the site after in-depth verification. Set up hreflang attributes in the page code to facilitate proper understanding by Google in multi-language context. Pay attention to common setup mistakes. Update the site sitemap XML with the newly created pages. Track results using tools such as Serpstat Rank Tracker and Google Analytics Fast, while keeping in mind that short-term traffic drops may happen. We are moving to the next section. Let's explore the topic of sitemap XML and its importance in optimizing your website for search engines. A sitemap XML is a technical file that informs search engines about the pages to index. It includes crucial information such as page addresses, priority update frequency, and last modification time. To generate a sitemap XML, you have a few options. Sitemap generators. Use services or tools that generate a sitemap XML file which can be added to your site through the Google Search Console. CMS plugins. Many plugins are available for popular CMS platforms like WordPress, allowing to generate sitemaps for different sections of your site. Manual creation. Although more challenging, you can manually create a sitemap by collecting a complete list of pages using tools like Serpstat's Review. Save the list and ensure it's free of excluded pages. You can create a sitemap using a text file saved in XML format. An accurate sitemap starts with the lines. These tags provide additional details to search engines. When filling out the sitemap XML adhere to these requirements. Include only published pages that return a server response of 200. OK. Use UTF-8 encoding for the sitemap. Regularly update and check the sitemap for errors and broken links. Keep the sitemap file within the 
50,000 line limit. If necessary, split it into multiple parts with an index specifying individual sitemaps. Exclude pages blocked by robot.txt. Ensure the file size doesn't exceed 50 megabytes, considering dividing the sitemap if needed. Dates in the sitemap should follow the W3 consortium daytime format, updating whenever the sitemap changes. The sitemap must be accessible at path you see on the screen. Use a 301 redirect if the generated sitemap has a different address. Let's move to the next valuable document, robots.txt. Robots.txt is a text file located in the root folder of the website that specifies instructions for search engine crawlers. It helps control which pages or sections of a site should be crawled and indexed. To prevent indexing, use the robots file or the meta robots tag to exclude the following elements. Pages with user registration or authorization forms. Site search results including catalog deliveries or articles. Print versions of the site. Pages with certain functionality. Access pages to the admin panel. Other URLs that may result in duplicate content. How to find, create, or edit the robots.txt file. Access yourdomain.com slash robots.txt to view the file or use tools like the Serpstat SEO Checker plugin for quick access. Create a text file, save it, and upload it to the root folder of your site. Edit the file using plugins installed on your site or the file manager in the hosting menu. The content of robots.txt may vary depending on the site type and project requirements. This is how non-standard robots.txt look like. This is how the robots.txt of the Serpstat site looks like. Please note that the file contains links to sitemaps for different language versions. The first robots line specifies the user agent, the search robot. Directives are written for those search robots. The asterisk symbol in this line means that directives apply to all search engines. The robots.txt file uses specific syntax and characters that search robots interpret to execute directives. Mean that there is a comment in the line. This character indicates that a directive applies to URLs with any sequence of characters. Cancel the action after a directive with asterisk indicating completion of the directive on that element. Let's see what directives can be in the file and how they work. The file can contain directives such as disallow, which prohibits indexing of specific pages or groups and allow, which enables the indexing. Additionally, the sitemap directive specifies the list of sitemaps to be indexed. There are also robot meta tags and X robots tags, which provide instruction on crawling and indexing at a page level. These tags included in the HTML code or sent as HTTP headers inform search robots on indexing behavior. Examples of directives include no index, index, follow, no follow, no image index, and others. By understanding and properly implementing robots.txt and related meta tags, you can effectively manage search engine crawling and indexing behavior, enhancing your website's SEO performance. 
Congrats, you have just been through a bumpy ride of the most important and tricky question in technical SEO. To get more information and test your knowledge, visit our academy by following the link in the description. Let's move on. See ya!